Idea. I might be able to sabotage it. Now be patient. We know what this machine's for. This is to convert air into ammonia gas. Hey, doctor, hurry up! Yes, now have patience, child. When I finish with this machine, I'm sure they will release you. Never mind about that. Release these bones! No, no, it's the last thing we do. This is the thing that gives them the gas to breathe with. You don't know that for certain? My dear child. The wheels can't go outside. It's a foregone conclusion. Doctor! I think they want me to go with them. Well, I think you'd better do what they want, hmm? But, Doctor, that thing in there, that thing looking out of the window. Yes. What? That was one of the rules, I suppose. Doctor, I'm so scared. Well, now, look, you go with them quickly, but don't cause any trouble. Mm. It'll give me time to see if I can help you. I think perhaps I can do something with that machine, but I must have time. Hmm? Yes? All right. Hmm. Be quick. All right, don't worry. Don't worry. Maga, shall we go? Where? To patrol. I see no need. To see what the other two are doing. No. But Maga... Can you hear me? We always go on patrol at this time. Yes, but not now. Soldier drivings, you can't understand anything that's different, can you? You were made unintelligent and you remain that way for the rest of your lives. I told them soldiers were no good for space work. All they can do is kill. But they wouldn't listen. If you are to conquer space, they said, you will need soldiers. So here I am, confronted with danger. I'm the only one able to think. Very well. I am your commanding officer. I am your controller. Am I not? Yes, Maga. And you obey my orders? Yes, Maga. Why? Because you are our leader. And? You think. And you don't know what that means. 
Well, because I think I order that there will be no patrol now. We have a prisoner. In order to save him, the other two must help us. I do not understand why they would want to help a friend. I know you don't. We would not. We would leave him here. Yes, we would. But I have heard of creatures like these. They help one another. Why, Mugger? I don't know. I have heard that on occasions, they even die for one another. Die? Or their friends? There are many strange things in the universe. I do not understand. I know you don't. But despite that, you will obey orders. It may be that we shall kill neither the wills nor the earth creatures. Not with our own hands, that is. It may be better for us to escape in the Will's spaceship and leave them here. And then, when we are out in space, we can look back. We will see a vast, white, exploding planet. And know that they have died with it. But we will not see them die. You will not. But I at least have enough intelligence to imagine it. The horror, the shuddering of a planet in its last moments of life. And then they die. But that is for later. Attention. You will rest. You will guard the prisoner. You will go out and look for the Earth creatures. Open the door. He sleeps? But you will not. He must not move. What do you want anyway? What do you want anyway? We are sorry to separate you from your friend, but it was necessary. Who are you? Who are you? We're, um, we're time travelers from the planet Earth. I see. You were sent here by the Dravins. Yes. To do us harm. No. No, you see, the Dravins are keeping a friend of ours prisoner. So we had to do as they said. What was that? To capture your spaceship. Why do they want to capture it? We have offered to take them with us. They didn't tell us that. No, they would not. They would rather kill. They hate us. Well, you did kill one of them. We kill no one. But they... Look. Who is talking? Is it... Is it this Chumbly? Or is it someone else? You call the machine Chumbly? Yes. The Chumblies have a speaker in them. They are transmitting our thoughts. Your... Your thoughts? We do not speak like you. We have no vocal cords. We communicate in thought. Who are you? We are the Rills. Why can't I see you? It is better that you do not. 
Not all the dominant species in the universe look like humans. Our appearance might shock you, and it shocks the Jarvin. The Dravin said that you attacked them. That is sure took the truth. We were investigating out of space when we encountered a strange ship. Rills do not attack or kill without good reason, so we stopped our ship. Their ship also stopped. We hung in space facing each other. We could have turned and gone away, but we were afraid that we would be attacked. Yes? What happened? Oh, for dawn, we hung there. Then we decided to turn. As we were doing so, the Dravins fired. Immediately, we did the same, and both ships crashed. When we escaped from our ship, we discovered that we could not breathe the atmosphere here. But we had a small supply of our own, and set out to help the Dravins. The first one we found was badly injured. started to help the soldier. Then Marga, their leader, appeared. She started to shoot at us, so we left. We could have shot back. Our weapons are superior to theirs. But we do not kill, the Dravins do. When we looked back, we saw Marga kill the injured soldier. The Dravins believe that you did that. We know that is why they keep attacking us. Would you really have taken those people off with you? Why not? What do we gain if they die? We will help you rescue your friend. Something is worrying you. Yes. I... I wish I could see the whole of you. It is better that you don't. Besides, we cannot come out. In order to live, we must have ammoniac gas. So we live in here in a compartment where it is filtered in. You mean you can't breathe oxygen at all? No, our home planet... What is it? You must let me out quickly or you'll all be killed. Killed? By whom? By the doctor. He's trying to wreck your machine for making ammoniac gas.
It's going to be too late. Are you sure you're all right, child? Yes. Hmm? And the rails hmm? won't harm us. They want to help. We were told your friend is in danger. Is, is that a real talking? Yes. Hmm? Well, answer him. Oh, yes, you were told correctly. Doctor, uh, they're not deaf. Oh, I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. I, I thought you couldn't hear. We are mm. not deaf, you know. Uh, Perhaps you will both come inside. Uh, yes, it does occur to me that uh, if we do that, we uh, might be trapped. Hmm? Doctor, if the rills wanted to harm us, the chumbly could shoot us now. Uh, yes, indeed. Of course, child. Yes, it's quite true. Quite true. Yes, well, lead the way. Uh, uh, lead the way. <laughs> As it happens, I'd like to take a look round. Uh, what's this, what's this fellow doing? Going to repair the damage you have done. Yes, uh, yes, quite so. <laughs> mm. Tell me, what do these bills look like? They won't show themselves, Doctor. Who? Why ever not? Because our appearance would not be pleasant to you. Oh, what nonsense. We're not children, you know. It is best you do not see us. Very well, carry on, carry on. To her with utter rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. Oh, yes, this, uh, this drill rigging here. Uh, tell me, what is it you're drilling for? Hmm? Power? We must have power for launching our spaceship. The suns are too weak to supply this power. Therefore, by drilling, we may find some in the ground. Very well, if you take my advice, you're going to move on. There's very little time left. You know about the explosion of this planet? Oh, yes, we know more than you. Your timing is wrong. The disintegration of this planet is not 14 dawns away. It is now less than two dawns. Two dawns? Two dawns. Then we have no chance of survival. But you've repaired your ship. Yes, but the only power we find is a gas, and that is of no use to us. We have no means of converting it into the sunray power we need. I think I might be able to supply you with the power you need. Yes. I think I'll help you, since you're so willing to help us. We would be deeply grateful. You keep saying we. How many of you are there? Four. That doesn't seem many for manning a spaceship. We were twelve. Eight of us died in the crash. First, I will need some metal cord cable. We have some. Splendid, splendid. I think I can put into effect the transference of power from my ship to this. Now, first of all, I must... I must have a conversion. Now, is that possible? We shall do all that you say. You are our only... Ah. What's that? What's the matter? Hmm? We have just received a message from a machine. A chumbly? It is by the Dravin spaceship. It reports that a being, not Dravin, came out of it. Steven. It detected that he was a friend of yours. But before contact could be made... He went back in again. He still thinks the Chumbies are dangerous, you see. Doctor, let me go and tell him. That, that won't be necessary, my dear. He's quite capable enough of looking after himself. Now, the cable, please, the cable. You hear me, Earthman? Yes, I hear you. Throw down your gun and we will set you free. Very well. But if you try to come through here... You may kill one of us, but we will surely kill you. Yes, outside, a Will's machine waits to kill also. All right. Then I'll stay here. I may be trapped, but you can't harm me. You are in the airlock. On the wall, there are some dials. They are pressure gauges. So? We can empty the oxygen out of that section, and you will suffocate. If you touch that, the door will open completely, leaving you at the mercy of the machine. Ready? Pressure. Normal. Temperature. Normal. Good. Empty the airlock. Yes, uh... The air is already leaving the airlock. You have three choices. Three? Stay there and die. Go outside and be killed by the machine. Or surrender. Uh, 
Yes, good, good. Yes, I think that's enough. That should be all right. Now then, let me have your arm. That's splendid. Now, follow me to the ship. Our thanks. What's that mean? The Tumbley has reported that your friend is still in the ship, but he's making noises they cannot understand. He says it sounds like cries of distress. Doctor. I must go at once. You sir. cannot help him alone. We will send two more Crumbly machines with you. But what can they do? Cut open the ship if necessary. Doctor, come. Go, hmm? quickly. The Crumbly reports the sounds are weakening. You stay here, child. No, I'm coming with you. All right, come then, come. Come along. And you stay here until you receive a message. Go on. Quickly. Back to your spaceship, of course. The machines are our enemies. Why do you bring them to? We are going to help you and Marga and the rest of them to get to the real spaceship. We wish to save lives, not to destroy them. Marga does not trust you. I do not trust you. Listen, we have captured these machines. They do anything we tell them now. Watch. Come forward. Stop. Go back. Stop. You see? Down, madam! Oh! Listen to me! Kill me now! I have failed my duty! Nonsense! Let us stop this thought of killing anyone. Now, madam, back to your spaceship. Back, Go on. please! Hurry. Why do you not give up, Earth Man? Rather face the chumblies than you any day. <laughs> that will not work now. The pressure has locked the door. You must surrender or die.